Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, that's okay, fine. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. So actually, we are having some problem uh, regarding to the uh, wires. We are trying to connect to the Bluetooth. Kindly just wait for five minutes. Sure, ma'am. Sure, I will wait. I will wait.
See my screen now? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, shall, mm -hmm. we start shall we start with that? Uh, sir, uh, yeah, we can start. Yeah. Okay, fine. So, good morning, everyone. Um, it's a wonderful day to meet you all. So, today I'm going to uh, start a session with uh, branding for individuals and uh, startups. Before that, I would like to thank uh, Monica Andral and uh, Aishwarya Dara for uh, inviting me uh, to deliver this session. So, yeah, coming into the point, so branding for individuals and startups. So I don't know how many of you are uh, from a uh, student background and how many of you are having a, a startups right now. So, but this is an important scenario. When I say branding for startup you might have already here like because you are having a phone you are seeing lot of brands and you are uh, getting attracted to that for an example it might be an apple phone or it might be samsung phone right depending upon the brands you are getting the ads and you are getting into the market but very few people will be speaking about the branding for individual that is as a single person you as well as myself or any individuals how they can brand themselves and they can become into the they can develop their career or they can uh, implement in their startup also so without wasting much time i'm just giving this presentation a credit to you know our team they are uh, designed this presentation for us and uh, yeah with that we will be moving on with that okay so uh, everyone will be in currently like you are as a student or you are as a uh, employee you are currently in a state like that is that's what we mentioned in the current state what is your identity that is you are as a student or you are as a work employee you might be working from home or office or in an institution right so this is where you are currently so you need to follow a few steps step one step two step three and then you are going for your future state which is where you will be seeing yourself in the future right so that's the aim everyone will be having like what i'm going to do after two years or what i'm going to do after five years but you need to follow a few steps step one step two step three right that that might be already discussed with your mentors even your family even your friends you might have already discussed with them and you have already designed some path so in between this travel journey from today to the future you need to improve your skill and you need to tell the world who you are right that's the agenda what i'm trying to say everyone have a individual skills right everyone every individual is having a individual skills some might be good with drawing some might be good with uh, coding some might be good with uh, designing a car or designing an aircraft so depending upon you like you have some dream and you have some skill set and you want to get into the real world right after four years or after five years of your degree so when it comes to the uh, graduation and after graduation things india is giving more than one lakhs one lakh uh, professionals especially in engineering more than one lakhs they are getting graduated in a year so think about that how you are going to get into the competitive world so that's important so you need to get branding for yourself so here we are going to see a few factors that is significance of branding and uh, types of branding is there, elements of branding. Often uh, like some mistakes we will be doing in branding. So those de details will be also discussed over here. So after this uh, four points of discussion, I will be giving you a hands-on training of one example of developing a personal digital profile for yourself and how you can take it uh, into the real world also. So, yeah, first of all, lack of awareness, like uh, when we say about um, branding, as I told, people are not getting the importance of individuals branding in personal branding, right? 
so they are thinking that personal branding is not an important important to the current scenario but it's not true personal branding is very much important in the current scenario so significance of branding so it can be a company or it can be a, a individual right so it, it it can be a startup also so we will be having a mission and vision so when we have a motto right like, uh, what we are going to achieve maybe in a long term so that will be our mission and vision so when when we are setting our mission and vision we need to make sure that we are creating a memorable impression for the customers so when i say the memorable impression on the on the consumers so may, maybe the clients or the customers let's say uh, i'm going to uh, start a uh, business maybe maybe it is related to a service business for a, a creating a website right so people will uh, try to understand how you are given your best for the existing clients right so the memorable impression on consumers right so it can be any sort of uh, business how you are going to represent that that matters then you need to apply distinct methodology from the competitors yeah you need to identify the you, who are your competitors maybe for an example we can take apple and samsung itself so apple is having a different uh, uh, os and system operating system and samsung is running with android so how they are going to uh, compete and how better they can give right so those things you need to understand and you need to deliver that in your uh, in your product or in yourself also ensure better clarity and offer to make a best choice so you need to be very clear like you, your service or your product you need to specify it very clearly to the customers and you need to offer a better choice for them so this is a prelim preliminary things which you need to have as a significance of branding so there are types of branding is there uh, depending upon the sector like uh, which sector you are going to uh, get into the field so yeah so the most important thing is individual company requires different types of branding so when i say individual company you can take it as a person also so how this personal uh, branding will work that's that's we will see because here you can see we have mentioned it is a type of branding the geography of branding you might have our like yeah punjab is having a best thing in uh, uh, maybe in lassi or something like different the local locality will have something best with that so you need to identify the geographical branding right so corporate branding so this is all the corporate uh, organizations are doing right that, that you are already getting into the field like hcl infosys their name right that is coming as a corporate branding and product branding yeah samsung is uh, releasing a s25 or s23 mobile phones apple is going for uh, iphone 15 so that is product based branding right how you are going to brand your product and then service branding suppose if you are getting into the market for service related uh, related of to service then it is coming under the service branding and offline branding so offline branding in the sense like uh, we are going to give browser distribution or uh, uh, having a banner outside in the ro road or somewhere like you are doing the uh, marketing in the real uh, world right and online branding you are going with the digital presence through facebook or through instagram or through twitter or any other uh, mode of online branding you are going to do so retail branding maybe the franchise type of branding like uh, you might have seen uh, uh, kfc is having various franchise and uh, a burger man right like right now they are coming with franchise and many franchise uh, ecosystem is also there so if we are coming with that uh, we can come with the retail branding for uh, uh, you might have seen a uh, reliance uh, uh, market right as well as uh, dmart so those type of will be coming with the retail branding and the finally we are coming with the personal branding that's what we are trying to do as an individual right so if uh, if i ask you a question like can you identify a person who is doing currently a personal branding or like um, who uh, when i say personal branding who you can remember that's my question so there is one person we all can remember that is elon musk so elon musk he he is the founder of uh, spacex and he is the founder of tesla also he uh, purchased recently with uh, x.com twitter so 
how he is getting and how he is doing the personal branding that's what i i want to explain to you so obviously tesla is doing its own branding because it is coming under a corporate branding and it is doing uh, their own branding and when tesla is releasing a new uh, product it, it can be a cyber truck or it can be a uh, tesla cars so they are doing the product branding as well as right and service branding uh, the charging stations when they are coming into the field charging station they are doing service branding also geographical branding obviously depending upon uh, their locality which means uh, depending upon the uh, country the state wide right they are already doing the geographical branding in us right in india still it is not came but in uh, us they are doing with the geographical branding and online branding al uh, already they are doing but apart from that people are not getting the aware that elon musk is doing a personal branding for himself that's the most important thing because when he send a tweet today if he is sending a tweet it is a news it is the news he is creating the content for the news channels so that when he is speaking about uh, uh, any any sort of issues or any sort of uh, product development that will be attracted to the other sectors other sectors means the news and other industries oh what elon musk is doing that's that's what people will get attracted to so when elon musk purchased the twitter right so he came with an idea of a blue tick concept right blue tick if you want to uh, get verified with blue tick you just pay uh, need to pay 700 rupees something like that maybe 1000 right now so for a month so this is a strategy he brought in for twitter and now if you see even uh, meta facebook uh, uh, instagram they follow the same and they get get the same concept right so that is the strategy when elon musk is bringing something here with you and it will be obviously it is a teamwork when i when i say that elon musk is bringing it is a teamwork behind him there is a lot of uh, people working for him but apart from that it is who speaks about that right when we speak about uh, personal branding when elon musk tweet something it is getting into the viral and it is growing up right so the entire twitter that it converted into x.com and it it's still sustaining means it's because of elon musk that is the reason if some other brand if any uh, startup is coming and if they are uh, just renaming their brand totally after two or three years uh, it is not may not, it may not sustain in the market but even after renaming it is completely rebranding the twitter it is sustaining because of elon musk and his personal money you just visit x.com elon musk profile you can understand how much followers he is having uh, in his uh, portal so that in his page so that is the most important thing about the personal branding so you can the one thing i i just want to express is no one is going to explain better about yourself than you so if kishan is there i need to explain what i am doing how i i did that and how i am going to do as i am right i need to explain that so i will explain that in a better way so what i am trying to do with my startup or what i am trying to do with my career so i need to explain and i need to tell the people around me as well as to the unknown people then only they will get okay uh, kishan is doing that and uh, someone is doing this services or someone is bringing up with this idea innovative idea like that so if you are not telling about yourself and if you are not introducing what your agenda what your innovation is that is a big disadvantage for ourselves so that's what elon musk did he he did personal branding without knowing without showing to other people but he completely did personal branding right that's what it matters so yeah coming into uh, some uh, aspects so when we say about uh, company branding so you need to have a background story so background story in the sense like how you came how you started the company what are the struggles you faced in the initial and how you are going to uh, get into the market how you did everything that that is your background story so what drives right what drives you to do that so maybe it is an agenda like uh, uh, when uh, when uh, swiggy or zomato started their uh, journey obviously they have their own uh, background but what drives because people need food right people need food but people also can't travel every day to the restaurant or something uh, near to the hotel right 
so what they did they try to solve that problem and they are coming into the mediator between the customer as well as the restaurant people right so that is one of the thing they are trying to solve right that that's what they it is drives them so what drives you that is most important thing so what is the problem you are going to solve that is also needed and the finally the name look and feel so you need to identify a suitable name for your startup and you need to give a branding look and the feel right so that when people are getting uh, the color or the name they will understand that it is your brand right so there are other uh, factors also there uh, with the logo the logo design which you are going to do and color palette which combination of color you are going to use and uh, shape which type of shape whether it is rectangular or square or triangle which shape you are going to prefer tag line yeah uh, you might have heard like nokia when they came with the phones they introduced a term connecting people right so that is the tag line they used right so similar tag lines you need to bring it up and you need to uh, mention it and it can attract the people also so uh, voice and vocabulary yeah how you are going to uh, how the Uh, name of your company is going to be pronounced right that also needs to be uh, focused on font plus uh, positioning so choosing the correct font and uh, how you are going to position the logo so those things also uh, matters right so these are the important factors when you are going for a startup so yeah you need to focus on logo which color combination shape tagline and how it is going to be pronounced and font font sizing like uh, size and shape of font you are going to keep it up right yeah so then it comes to the logo shape so as i told uh, the logo shape it can be a circular logo it can be a rectangular logo or it can be a triangular logo so each configuration that each shape has some meaning also so you can search it about in the internet uh, this concept is uh, traditionally followed from uh, long back itself with uh, european as well as american uh, perspective so you can also go for indian perspective also if you want and even if you can go for your local punjabi uh, uh, standards like perspective uh, so some signs which you feel that is good for uh, your logo so you can take it up and you can go for that so in the general like if you are want to reach throughout the world then you can follow some standards yeah when we say the audi uh, logo so you can see it is a circular and it's rings right totally it's rings so it uh, defines the unity community and friendship stability and feminine so this this is the identity for keeping the uh, rings logo right in a circular pattern so similarly we have a, a rectangular and square which is describing the strength the efficiency professionalism and practicality so the damios logo is there and various types of logos we can see that is adidas which is having a triangular which describes few factors also so again horizontal and vertical the ibm is having the uh, horizontal uh, type of configuration and uh, brings the pattern they follow so it is aggression masculinity strength and progress right so this this type of uh, uh, configurations you need to fix according to your perspective so no one is going to stop like you need to go for this configuration which is better for you which you feel that it will create an impact you can get into that and you can uh, take it into the market right so the jaguar also coming as a abstract abstract means a uh, undefined shapes right undefined uh, models you can keep it as a logo so that's what it means and uh, lion and cultural uh, coming into this uh, digital india they have given, given the if you see the logo d it is representing the d shape and also it is having an i with the wifi uh, dot and it represent india right so india the color flag right national flag color is mentioned over here orange white and then it is green right so by that way they have defined that cultural ecosystem for the logo so even you can also prefer something related to that right yeah this is of all about the shape of the logo so as we discussed logo like right, with respect to the shape and then we are coming with the color palette so when we see about the red color you will remember youtube as well as kfc right whenever you are going on a road long travel you can identify that uh, when there is a sign so you can easily understand that it is a uh, uh, kfc or uh, like when we see this youtube sign 
it is more attractive right so the color matters so each color defines again each color defines with respect to a, a passionate way in a passionate way they are having when a person loves someone he shares the red rose right so to impact with that they are coming with the idea of a red color combination and the blue color is also having a stands for security efficiency and productivity so facebook and paypal is coming with the same concept and green color it represents the cleanliness and freshness android as well as nvidia is coming with that and uh, orange color so fun and adventure so if you see the fanta they have given the advertisement also related to fun and adventure type of thing so that's what it does like when you are selecting a logo color as well as you are uh, going for a logo shape you need to be aware that how you are going to get into the field right so similarly yellow represent mcdonald's pink rep represent barbie white color like nike and as well as uh, spacex uh, again elon musk uh, spacex is coming with that purple color fedex and yahoo.com right so those are all having a one uh, perspective with that so brown color m&ms as well as black color apple is going with that so coming into the tag tagline as i mentioned earlier so nike is going with uh, just do it Airtel 5G, 5G net ready network, think different. Apple will have mentioned think different, right? So YouTube has mentioned broadcast yourself. Google has mentioned innovation in the open. So similarly, you need to have a different type of tagline for your startup. So yeah, yeah. by this, I would like to end the startup uh, uh, branding. I want you to take and do a hands-on training program. Uh, with respect to how to start up personal branding. So when I say the personal branding, one thing I need to uh, show that is related to, uh, maybe I'm just showing for an example, okay? So there is a website which is representing Narendra Modi. You can see the URL is narendramodi.in and you can follow like all the latest updates what uh, Narendra Modi is doing. It's not about only an Arundhati Modi. There are various people are having their uh, personal website, right? So that's what we are trying to uh, do over here today. You are going to make your personal site, right? That's what, because this is the first step you can do for yourself apart from the social media pages which you are having because the social media pages is not going to represent much until unless you are going to uh, modify according to your need, right? But the personal website which you are going to create, that will create an impact and that will be uh, when when people are searching about uh, maybe a, a good uh, web developer, right? There are high chances that you will come into the first page in a Google search, right? So by that way, you can improve your service. You can uh, come up with your uh, individual uh, personal branding also. So yeah, uh, so shall we start with that? Uh, Monica, ma'am, I hope everyone is uh, having a laptops or something like that. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, fine. So, I request uh, uh, Bonesh to share the screen. Yes, sir. Just try it. Okay. It's so, visible. Yeah, it's visible. Uh, can you show the uh, URL? It's URL is not visible. I think you have shared the tab. I think you can uh, take it as a separate uh, window and you can share it again. Okay. okay. So, ma'am, uh, the screen is visible. Monica? Yes, okay, okay. So, I request all of you to uh, type zoho.com slash sites. The URL is zoho.com slash sites. I will type in the chat also. Thank you. 
I have typed in the chat zoho.com slash sites. So uh, I hope everyone are aware of uh, uh, Zoho, right? So Zoho is having a tool called Zoho Sites, which is very affordable and easy way of uh, making a personal website. And even you, you can uh, uh, make for your startup also, as well as you can make for any organization. So we are trying to uh, take this session into a hands-on training so that you can uh, access easily what uh, Zoho is trying to do. Okay. So, yeah. So I hope everyone have opened the zoho.com slash sites. Uh, Monica, please check once. If they are ready, then I will take this next step. Monica, ma'am. Uh, bonus, you can uh, log out and keep it. Keep it in the front page. Already, okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, Monica, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, I think yes, everyone, has, everyone is ready with this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Continue. Okay. So, uh, you can uh, sign in with your uh, Google Gmail ID itself. You can see here, uh, there is an option called uh, Google Sign In below the sign up for free. So, you can click over there. So sign sign in with your uh, Gmail ID. Everyone, please sign in with your Gmail ID. So if it is asking uh, the details like personal name, uh, email ID, as well as a uh, phone number, you can update that. That's completely fine. Log in with your uh, email ID. So I hope everyone is uh, logging in into it. Okay. So I hope everyone have logged in. Monica, ma'am, have everyone logged in? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, okay, fine. So uh, you can see the front page like this. Uh, there is an option called create a new site. Then when you click the create new site, you can see uh, the name for your site as well as the category of your site. So here you can type the name. So if it is a personal name, you can type your name. So he is typing here as Bhuvaneshwaran. You can type your name itself. Like... Uh, you are trying to create a personal portfolio, personal digital profile. So in that case, you can type your name. If you are going for any organization, you can type for your organization. Okay. So the category which you need to select is portfolio. When when it is a uh, when you are creating a website for your individual uh, individual persons or any any clients, right? Who is going to have a portfolio? 
like for a personal website, you can select with the portfolio. So if you're going with a business, if you're going with a restaurant or educational institution, you are having different categories, you can select with that. So after that, you can select the choose theme option, which is in the page. After giving the name of your website and category you have selected, you can choose theme. So once you click the theme page, you can identify various templates because that's what I told. The Zogo site is completely low coding uh, platform, which helps you to create the site within an hour, max to max within an hour. So you, you, you can use without coding knowledge also, you can have a personal site. So I request Bhuvaneshwara to choose one template and all of you also choose the same template. Yeah. So here you can choose the template. Click the customize. So once you click the customize, you can identify the same like color pattern, font, and banner uh, style, everything like which we discussed with the PPD, right? I told you like when you want to uh, represent yourself or as a startup, you need to choose what is the color pattern you like and what you feel it will interest the uh, people. So you can choose the same color patterns and you can choose similar sort of fonts you can choose the header type as well as banner styles also. So once you choose all these factors, you can click at the finish. So I hope everyone is uh, choosing and everyone is doing on their respective. You can choose any sort of style or you can choose any uh, font, color, everything which you prefer. So once you chose, you chose, you have Click at the finish. Yeah. So once you click, it will be loading. The template will be loading according to your uh, uh, choice of font and uh, style. So it will take few minutes of time. Yeah. So once you are entering into the front page, see this, this even this portfolio is going to explain about an individual called Crystal Square, right? So they have given us an uh, UX UI designer. So you, like what I'm trying to say is the personal identity, because as I told you are, you will be good with your sports or you will be good with, uh, as a web developer or you will be good with a designer or you will be good with some sort of skills, right? So you need to explain that in a way how it will attract the clients, right? Because ultimately you will be having an aim to get into the market. Maybe you are going into the, uh, going, going to start your career into a company or even you are going to uh, develop your own startup, right? Still, the individual branding is much needed, right? So here you can see the name and all the uh, menus in the top page near to the bonus shop. You can see home, about me, my work, and contact, right? So those are all the pages which is going to describe about you. Like you might have seen some websites already. You are aware that there are menus are there and uh, how it is going to be described. So here we are having home menu. Home menu, it is all about uh, a small introduction about what is your service and what you have done earlier and all, right? So in the about me session, it is going to describe completely about yourself, right? The about me is going to describe about yourself, like I'm having one year experience, five years of experience on this field, right? So those things you need to explain. And when you are coming into my work, that is, what are the uh, works you have done for previous clients, right? So those need to be described in the My Work page. And finally, we are coming up with the contact page, 
for getting into touch suppose if, if i am searching like uh, ux ui designer for my project and uh, your profile is coming out uh, in the front page of google search then obviously i need to get connected with you so through this portfolio we can easily get connected right so i hope everyone have got this front page monica ma'am kindly check once yes sir okay fine so as i told you earlier you don't need to worry about uh, whether uh, if i have only coding skills i can do it no you can easily modify just click at the uh, elements so each each is mentioned like uh, you can see when he is uh, uh, selecting the name already that is an element if you just click at that you can modify the name of that person so he is just typing it bone student yeah so he is and the designation like which skill set you are having you can make sure the designation which you are already have right yeah business developer right so similarly you can also modify it according to your right so if you want to change the image the background image if you want to change the photo or something like that you can click at the photo and easily you can identify there is a change image option right you can click at that and you can upload the image directly from your system there is a left menu option is that upload image yeah he is uploading one of his image so once it is get uploaded select it and save see so you you need to design your uh, image in a way that it will be aligned perfectly in the left side or right side right so those things you need to make sure like because you will be using canva or some photo editing tools so you can see that where you want to keep the letters you can uh, change the position of the letters everything right so by that way you can create the better portfolio so since we are giving you demonstration over here so we, are, we can't explain all the factors but we are taking few factors how we can modify so you can yeah here you can see where you want to keep the location right so like that you can modify it right so you can increase the font size you can decrease the font size you can change the font style yeah if you want to decrease the font you can use that option over here in the format you can decrease the font so an easiest way to develop your portfolio so when you are getting into like after graduating or before graduating if you are attending any interviews also instead of taking resumes and instead of going with the uh, approaching people with a digital profile will be more impact they can understand okay this person is did some work and he is already doing some services right so while uh, having a startup also you can do the same and you can uh, try to find the client also you can interact with the client and you can try to uh, get services through the site itself okay. right so bonus uh, you can open a tab in tab you can uh, type innova world innova world innova world dot info world ld dot info
Yeah. So here you can see uh, it was made for you by one of your uh, faculty only. Already she have a startup called Innova World, and uh, she did with the same uh, concept, like with the same Zogo sites. All she did by herself. She is highlighting her uh, pro profile and she is explaining about what she is doing, right? So she is focusing on aerospace uh, innovations also and employability oriented engineering courses and trainings also she is uh, trying to provide and her team also she mentioned over here so i'm glad i'm a part of uh, into her team and she explained like what are the things she is doing right so by this way she is also telling the people that how her skill set is going to useful for them right so you will be having a separate skill sets you need to highlight those and you need to express yourself into the market. Okay, fine. So this, you can take it as an example and uh, you can also start working with that. So come back to the, our Zogo sites editor. Yeah. So like that you can develop since we don't have much time. So I need, I'm just giving you an intro. So if you want to change the uh, settings from the back end, you can always click the settings. Click the settings. You can find various settings like preferences, logo, uh, social pages. And uh, if you want to create a member uh, portal, contact information. So all this you can easily access over here. So you, one of the best thing about uh, Zobo platform is you, you can also uh, create your profile using Wix.com or wordpress.com but the plugins which you are using in wordpress it will be coming from the third party third party in the sense like wordpress is having its own platform but anyone who is creating or who is developing a plugin they can also add their platform but in zoho sites zoho itself having the integrations here you can see in the right hand side you can see that integrations Zoho sales IQ live chat, Zoho page sessions, marketing automation. So all this was developed by Zoho itself and they are uh, supporting with their uh, sites. So that is the best thing about going uh, uh, for a portfolio for a, with the Zoho sites than with WordPress or uh, Wix.com. And their live support is also going to be very helpful for that. Okay. So al also you can configure uh, domains, SSL certificates you can get social media profiles you can add and you can publish auto publish the uh, content suppose if you are adding a content in a zoho site it will auto publish in the uh, in your respective social media platform it can be facebook it can be linkedin you need to give the access but it will automatically uh, get published for uh, in your social media platform also so that will help you to save time also and coming into the seo part yeah so search engine optimization so again if i am going to search like a website developer in fagwara right so if you already developed this portal it will automatically highlight that yeah uh, maybe monica ma'am have already uh, she is from civil background she might have told like uh, she might have created a profile that she is a civil engineer and she can help the uh, people to uh, develop the 2d layout of their home or construction buildings right so if someone is searching from Pangwara, monica ma'am's profile will be coming into the front page by with the help of search engine optimization so that is the advantage of being creating a personal profile right so you'll be getting connected with the clients just by creating the profile itself you don't need to approach the client automatically they will come to you and they will be asking your service asking for your service right so by that way, it will be helpful for uh, both the win-win, like as a client, as well as uh, ourselves, it will be helpful for us, right? Right. So coming in back to the builder, right? So uh, see, until unless this website is published, it is just, you can develop. It will be under the trial version. So in the top, you can see your trial ends in the 15 days. So obviously you need to uh, get the domain, and uh, this server site will automatically act as a um, hosting itself, right? So you don't need to worry about hosting. You need to buy a domain. So this site will be acting as a hosting itself. So you can upgrade that. Just click upgrade.
just click the upgrade upgrade so in the upgrade option you can find the starter pack as well as the pro pack where you can uh, easily uh, yeah. just 160 rupees per month at least you can give a try see we are spending 200 rupees for a movie or 200 like 500 rupees, rupees for some factors right so rather than spend some money on yourself so this 160 rupees is not going to be a big deal to highlight your profile and it will be going to have an impact maybe you can have a startup also uh, the startup profile can be also created using the same solution and you can just spend 160 rupees per month so that it will be getting attracted to the people and uh, i'm not saying for individual branding also you can form a team a team of four members with the same skill set or different skill sets you can collaborate and you can do a team out also so suppose if you want to uh, have a concession uh, with our uh, partner id you can have 25 percentage of concession which is if it is mentioned as a uh, 160 rupees if you are using uh 10 stacks partner id that can be given from your in the right hand side your store details yeah click the tag your partner so if you feel you want to get 25 percent discount so you can directly choose the site yeah here you can mention tag your partner in the partner id we will be sharing you the partner id of 10 step solutions yeah so this is the partner id we are authorized partner of zogo so once you give the partner id over there you will be getting the 25 percentage off in your uh, like the charges if, if it is mentioned 160 rupees so 25 percentage of that it will be offered okay so that is the advantage uh yeah so once you given the tag uh your partner option then you can go for publishing your site yeah once you click the submit here it will be showing temp stack solutions and you can proceed with that and obviously we will be acting as a supporting uh, person for for your site itself so whenever you are having a problem we can uh, solve it with our team also yeah so once once you have tagged the partner you can uh, go for publishing your site so publishing your site needs a domain so domain in the sense uh, https monikaangral.in or uh, .com right so our aishwarya.in or uh, .com so, so those type of domain you need to uh, you need to purchase. So the domain can be purchased from uh, there are so many domain service providers as that one is GoDaddy, another one is BigRock, and even you can buy from Zogo site itself. There is an option called buy a new domain. Click at that buy a new domain. Continue. Yeah. So suppose bonishuran.com, bonishuran.com. bonashuran.com it is automatically loading and giving the suggestions yeah see here you can see bonashuran.online for per year it will be there will be a charges will be there so uh, dot, dot tech dot store dot site whichever you feel you can choose for your personal site or for your startup also so by that way once you uh, purchase the domain and once you go with the hosting, your website will be published automatically. Okay. So that's the published website is the Innova World. You can go there, Innova World. Innova World term. Yeah. This is exactly how the uh, published site will be looking for your clients. Or if you are approaching for an interview or if you are approaching for your uh, uh, new customers, right? You can directly tell them your digital profile and let them have a look at it. Okay. fine so with this i would like to uh, end my session so i would like to thank again uh, monica ma'am and aishwarya as well as team of gna university for this opportunity if you have any doubt we are uh, ready to uh, support in that and uh, another few things one thing i need to add uh, i 
I don't want to. I I I want to give an opportunity that since you guys spend one hour of time, right? So I want to announce a competition. So you, I think there are uh, near about forty people participating in this program. Thirty to forty people, maybe. So among you, forty to fifty people, I would like to announce a competition. So the competition is about creating a personal site for yourself. and you need to publish that so we will be giving you the prize money which personal website is going to have an impact right so all these details i will be forwarding to monica ma'am as well as aishwarya dara so they can take it forward so surely we will be giving the prize money up to 3000 for the best uh, personal profile right so take it as a challenge because see everyone is having a training program everyone is uh, telling some uh, lectures and are delivering some lectures but the impact needs to be there so if you work on that we will be giving it as a uh, taking it as a competition so how many profiles uh, you can bring it up we can sort it out and we can give the best profile for uh, personal profile uh, competition also so thank you for uh, the opportunity once again i thank the team thank you so much sir thank you uh, it was an interesting session for all the students even for us and nowadays people are even more interested in uh, startup mostly the students and uh, hopefully it will help students in many ways thank you so much sir. thank you ma'am thank you very much thank you ma'am